Welcome to the latest in our Tech Explain series. And this time around, we're taking a look at RAM, which stands for Random Access Memory, which is essentially your system memory. Now, regardless of whether you're dealing with desktop PCs, laptops, workstations, or servers, memory has the same function in all systems to act as the system's short-term data storage. It stores the information your computer is actively using so that it can be accessed quickly. Depending on the number and complexity of applications your system's running, the more memory it'll need. And the more memory that's in use, the higher the likelihood of errors occurring. Memory errors occur as a result of electrical or magnetic interference inside the system. How a memory error affects a computer system is dependent on what the system's doing. So although all memory has the same function, there are different types to deal with these errors as data and applications become more mission critical. For instance, desktop PCs and laptops only support standard memory, whereas workstations support either non-ECC or ECC memory, and finally, servers support ECC or ECC registered memory. So let's start with exactly what ECC is. It stands for Error Correction Code, and it's a mathematical process that ensures the data stored in memory is correct. In the case of an error, it also allows the system to recreate the correct data in real time. ECC uses a form of parity, which is a method of using a single bit of data to detect errors in a larger group of data, such as the typical 8 bits used to represent values in a computer memory system. This has a particular value in a business environment, as its ability to detect and correct memory errors helps to fight data corruption and reduce system crashes and outages. In order for the error correcting capability to work, you must make sure that all of your system memory is ECC matched. ECC capability is not considered worthwhile on consumer systems, as there's little point taking the performance hit that it introduces when system crashes are only inconvenient rather than mission critical. This allows regular non-ECC memory for desktops and laptops to remain cost-effective and easily upgradable. As mentioned earlier, for higher-end server systems, there may also be the option of ECC registered memory. This is a buffered memory where a register is located between the system's RAM and the memory controller. Again, like ECC, there'll be a slight performance reduction due to the buffering. But more importantly, this buffering reduces the strain on the CPU's memory controller because it points to the dedicated intermediary register versus accessing the RAM directly. Now, this not only makes for better efficiency, but also allows the server to address much more memory. For example, a server CPU may only support 128 gigabytes of ECC memory, but may be able to be configured with 1,024 gigabytes of ECC registered memory, allowing far greater performance and capability as required in big data, HPC or virtualized environments. Again, ECC registered memory must be matched. So for example, if you had 128 gigabytes of ECC memory and then you wanted to upgrade it to ECC registered, you'd need to replace it all. So there we have it, memory explained. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming Tech Explained series.